All right, SoFi update here, post earnings. So we sold off. That was one of the two possibilities. We came down here all the way actually to 980. Hopefully you bought that dip. You could have already sold for like a 5% bounce or so. So what are we doing here? Is this the end of the move higher or are we going to keep on going higher? I am leaning towards, well, I'm not leaning towards, I think that this is going to go higher. So I still think this is one, two, three. And then I was kind of on the fence about this move right here. Is this a fifth wave of the overall third wave? Or is that an ABC move? And I think it's an ABC move. The reason why I think it's ABC is because uh, of the structure of this move right here. You can see here, we get this move up. It takes only a day, and this takes a few days. So if that were going to be a fourth wave, that takes longer than all the previous waves. It doesn't really make that much sense. So I think that this is A, B, C, like that. Um, normally, the B wave won't go as far as 1.61 Fib, but it did this at this point. So I think overall, it's just an extended B wave, and we're in a C wave down right here. Um, and then if I'm looking at where the fourth wave would end, this right here took 13 days. Right now, we're sitting right around that same time period. And you can look at the time length of AB. This took 10 days. So I would expect the C wave to you know, last about half of that. And that's basically where we're at. We're on the 29th now. So then you can also use these parallel lines here. And I think that there's a potential for this to go down tomorrow, though. I think this can go lower. So people probably don't expect that after the sell-off. I think there's a very good chance that this does this down here to the 50 DMA, or not the 50 DMA, the 20 DMA. <clears throat> so you have the 20 DMA sitting here at, get rid of this, 20 DMA is sitting here at 957. We hit 978. So I'm basically saying, I think that this is a third wave down and we're making a fourth wave. Fourth wave might've already even been completed and so, yeah, I'm looking for this to go basically like this. And on top of that, that would hit this parallel line. This would only be wave four. And then I'm looking for wave five after that. Wave five, where can that go to? I think it could still go to 1220. So if we go down here to 956, Maybe not 1220, maybe just around 12 bucks. Somewhere up in this range. I think it's gonna make one more high. And then that should be the end of the third wave. After that, we will see how it dips. It could be a long drawn out dip. It could go like this for a while. Down here. And then I would expect after that, more than likely another move higher. Um, if we go to 12 and we dip, again, the minimum target is 16 bucks. This would give it right here saying 15.55. So that's close enough to 16 bucks. And then again, you also have to factor in there could be an extension at some point too. So you could come down here third wave, fourth wave, and then get. Um, humongous third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. And actually, I think there's a very good chance of that happening because I'm expecting an election dip at some point. I don't know if it's going to be prior to the election, right after the election, mid-November, whatever. I'm expecting a election dip. And that's probably going to correlate with us being in a fourth wave, I would think. So I think that we have a chance to go higher up here to 12 bucks. Um, We'll see. I would just be averaging in down here. Um, if you're buying shares, you have no problem at all. Just average into here. 
just in case we don't make one more low, um, you want to make sure you have shares if you already sold or if you are um, swing trading this. So basically, the whole thing will look like this. That's not the whole thing. The whole thing will look like this. Basically like that. So I think this whole thing is a fourth wave of the overall third wave. So that's what I see right now. Let's see what happens. If it doesn't make one more low, then maybe it already started to move higher. On these smaller time frames, it gets kind of ambiguous. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm scaling in down here either way. And I will scale in more if it comes down here to the 20 DMA. That's it for now. Leave me a comment. Like, subscribe for more updates. And I probably will update either later today or tomorrow.